This week's episode is part of a continuing conversation that began on Saturday when I attended a a conference called Church on the Move, in which the new general minister and president of the United Church of Christ, John C. Dorauer, gave a keynote address on the same topic. This conversation is between my wife and also vlog producer, Erica and myself, and we thought we'd let you listen in on a little bit. I can't imagine my life without church. And church has not always been a kind, caring, welcoming place for me. But I'm still drawn back repeatedly because of the overall message of unconditional love, being called to live into that, to embody that for others. Church calls me to be my best self. So that raises the question of what is unique about church? It's, it's the good news. It's the good news that you're forgiven, you're saved, you can begin again. We're saved from ourselves. We're not left to our own devices. We can have, there's God that can call us into a better way of living, a way that leads toward wholeness, not just for ourselves, but for our neighbors, for the planet. And if there's something you need or want from church and you're not getting it, tell us. I know I would listen and I know I'm not the only pastor out there who would listen. Because if you go to a church and it's judging you, you've gone to the wrong church and that church needs to look at the directions over again because they missed something. But when you, when you go to church and you feel welcome, you feel wanted and you feel that there is something there that you want, that's a church alive. That's a church that's trying to live out the gospel message. You know, church, as John Dorauer pointed out so nicely, should be on the move and become really about the people. You know, when I was little, I learned that thing, you know, here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors and see all the people. It really is about the people. And church at its best supports those relationships which make life thrive. And a church on the move is one that's willing to say, where there is need, we will go. And standing on the side of hope, even if we don't have the answers, we don't know how to bring about justice, but we believe justice is possible. And we will stand with those who suffer until there is justice. You know, that, that's a church with movement. That's a church with vitality. We recognize that God has this vision of paradise for us, really. That God has this vision of a world that is filled with justice and love and all the things that we talk about. And yet, try as we might, we're going to fall short because we're human. We make mistakes. We get it wrong. I don't know what secular organizations do when their good intentions go awry. When they inadvertently cause harm where they meant good, how do you find forgiveness and strength to try again? So what's the good news? The good news is that... Uh, Well, the UCC says it, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life's journey, you are welcome here. You are welcome, you are loved, you are valued, you are forgiven. And you can set down your burdens and begin again in the fullness of that forgiveness. If you are a regular viewer, please leave a comment below. It helps support the vlog and helps with YouTube algorithms. And for the rest of you, If you have a question about church or suggestions for a future vlog, please do leave a comment below and like and share this channel. Thank you and I'll see you next week.